I ran checks on all of you. Mechanical prodigy, world-class shrink, a human calculator. Brilliant minds working at half capacity. You want to do something meaningful? Here's your chance. 45 minutes ago, there was an automatic software upgrade in the LAX control tower. Now the entire system's down. Incoming flights, 56 of them, are out of comm range. Without landing guidance, those planes run out of fuel. And crash, Walter. If that happens, 20,000 people die. Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're talking about the new CBS action drama hybrid, Scorpion. Now, for those of you guys that don't know what Scorpion is, Scorpion is a series that follows the life of real-life proclaimed genius Walter O'Brien. He's a computer expert, one of the smartest men on the planet, top five easily, they say, in the show. And what we have here is the show starts off with a young Walter breaking into NASA's database system, the cops show up, authorities take him away, and then we jump to present day. Now we're in present day and created a company with a couple of his friends that are also really awkward kind of geniuses. One is a mechanical prodigy, the other is a mathematical genius, and the other one is like a really profound therapist. Now the series picks up really quickly when a special agent from the FBI comes to the door and asks them for help because something has gone wrong with the LAX airplane system. Uh, they can't seem to communicate between um, the planes and the towers. And if those planes can't come down, uh, they're going to fall, run out of gas, they're going to crash. So pretty much Walter and the team have to go into this situation, break things down, figure out what's going to happen and how to solve the problem. One of the biggest draws for this series for most people is the fact that Justin Lin, who is known for working on the Fast and the Furious franchise, is actually directing the pilot episode. Now, Justin Lin directs the first episode the way that he directs the Fast and the Furious films. High octane, high adrenaline, really no sense. And essentially that's the problem with the pilot episode. It brings all the action, all the high adrenaline, everything's moving really, really fast paced, everything's crazy. But it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. They're spewing out a lot of mumbo jumbo throughout the show. And sure, you can fall into it and you can have a blast and just not really pay attention. But if you take one second to really think about what they're doing, the show will fall apart for you. Because of the fact that they're throwing out so many smart mathematical equations and all these crazy ways to solve problems but nobody just does things a simple way. Now, although the show has flaws when it comes to believability and all the mumbo jumbo that is spewing and not really thinking things out like a real person would rationally, uh, the show is still really fun. And the pilot episode is really fun because of a couple things. First, you got the production value. The production value here feels like a Fast and the Furious production value. Some of the effects sure aren't that great, but the production value is there, high speed chases, high crashes, crazy things are happening. And that is because of Justin Lin. Uh, the, you also really like the characters. The character of Walter and the characters that are a part of his crew are already likable. You don't really believe them too much as friends, but they're all really likable and you can see what their role is going to be for the rest of the series. Uh, Catherine McPhee makes an appearance here as a waitress. I loved Catherine Murphy back when she was on American Idol. She went on to do Smash, and now she's on this show. And her chemistry with the team for the small snippets that were there really, really worked. I liked her. I liked her situation with her kid, and I liked her balance with the rest of the team. Now, where I feel that a lot of people are going to fall off is because of the fact that a lot of the stuff doesn't make a lot of sense. The timetables don't add up. If you have five minutes to get from this part of L.A. to that part of L.A., it's not really plausible. A lot of people will probably find that to be a like a really big fault. I honestly, the show is so fun. I honestly didn't really care about that. Uh, I understand that those are big flaws and they're going to affect the grade. But for what the show was meant to be, it was a fun show. It had a lot of action, a lot of fun moments, um, some kind of funny things. And the story is... Pretty much, it's an interesting story. A group of geniuses doing things. People are going to compare it to Big Bang Theory meets Fast and the Furious. And I guess you can get that. A lot of four smart people with a quirky girl helping them out. It's the Big Bang Theory with Fast and the Furious, if you really think about it. So, But the series worked for me. 
I had a lot of fun watching it, and I'm actually really excited to see where they go from here. Um, the other thing that I will mention is that, although I am excited, I don't know if the series is going to be able to hold up the production value that it needs to keep me super pumped to keep watching. This was a really high, fast pace, multiple cameras, a lot of stuff was happening in this episode. I don't think they'll be able to keep that budget. And for all those reasons, I have to give Scorpion a grade of good. Because of the fact that it's fun to watch, did what its job was, which was just to bring a high adrenaline rush of a show, action drama hybrid that you don't really get on TV, and make it into what it's going to be. I enjoyed it. I think it's worth checking out if you're into these shows and you don't want something super smart. If you can get around that, you'll have a lot of fun with this. If you can't and you need your shows to be a lot smarter, this is not that. This is really for the Fast and the Furious audience. If you like Fast and the Furious, I think you're going to enjoy these because these characters are really likable and the action was there. So definitely check out Scorpion if you're into this kind of show. Force the gas cap open, pull up the ECM chip. We're down to a 17% chance of success. We're in. We're at less than 1%. Thanks for watching guys hopefully you guys enjoyed my review of the cbs tv show scorpion and you guys leave me a comment below like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel be sure to be on the lookout for a lot more tv reviews coming on the youtube channel and definitely go to geekdownation.com where i'm going to be having a lot of random reviews along with a lot of people that help me on that website a lot of contributors are also going to be helping me with a lot of tv stuff so definitely be on the lookout on Deep Dark Nation for a bunch of TV reviews. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this though. And as always, hopefully you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. Peace!